all right, you have to go to a party or you have people coming over and you don't have any sort of appetizer to put out. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a super simple, last minute, three ingredient appetizer. Now, this is actually so simple, it's almost stupid, but I thought everyone knew about this. But over the past four or five months when I've mentioned this to people, most of them have never heard of it. I saw it at a restaurant over 30 years ago and we've used it several times over the years when you need that last minute appetizer. It's sort of the bread equivalent of chips and salsa, but a little bit higher up on the scale of how it's gonna look and taste. So what we're gonna start with is loaf of bread here. Now I'm gonna do this two different ways because you want these about the size of what a chip would be because this is sort of a dip appetizer. So we're gonna first cut this in half. Now this half of our bread, we're also gonna cut in half again. Now each of these halves, all we're gonna do is take these and we are going to slice them into little pieces of bread. You can make them as big or as small as you want. As I said, this is three ingredients, super simple. You could stop at the three ingredients or you can add more things to this. I'll explain some of that a little bit later. Like the bread here, you could toast it, you could put some flavor on it, making it a little crostinis, but this is that ultra simple way to serve this. So here we have our slices of bread. Now we're gonna move on to a little bit more rustic way to present this. So with our other half of the bread loaf here, we're just gonna take it and rip it. And you wanna rip it again into small pieces sort of the chip equivalent, as I said. And this does work better with sort of a soft bread like this French loaf. At least that's how I like it. So there we have our two types of bread presentation that we're gonna use for this. And now let's move on to this super simple dip. So the best thing for the dip portion of this appetizer is a shallow bowl or even just sort of a plate with very shallow edges. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna pour in some olive oil. Pick your favorite olive oil. I'm using a Sicilian olive oil from Trader Joe's. And we're just gonna pour enough in here to just sort of cover the bottom. Maybe just a little bit deeper, just like that. Next, we're gonna take some balsamic vinegar and we're just gonna drizzle it on the top. Not to cover the olive oil. You don't want an even amount of olive oil on balsamic vinegar. You'll see why. Just gonna drizzle this right here. Then what I like to do is you take a fork, something else like that, mix it up so it starts to look like a piece of art, modern art. This is the dip portion of this appetizer. You just put your plate of bread that you've ripped up or cut up next to it. People will go to town on this. In fact, you'll have to keep refilling this dip. So all you have to do is keep your bottle of olive oil and balsamic vinegar nearby, refill it as it gets down, maybe have another loaf of bread so you can add some more here. Again, it's like the chips and dip equivalent using bread, but sort of elevated. Now I said you could add other things beyond just these three ingredients. You could add some minced garlic to this dip if you wanted to, or something I like to do, some freshly cracked black pepper but you don't have to add anything. You could just go with those three ingredients, but looking at this right now, since I haven't had this in a while, it's time to taste. So I'm just gonna go in with a piece of that torn up bread, sort of the rustic presentation of it. Just get in there, soak up that mixture of olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Let's see. Mm. Now, olive oil can have a nice bite to it, if you've never tasted olive oil just on its own, give it a try sometime, have a taste. Different grades of it and different types will have almost a spiciness to them. But that balsamic brings a sweetness to this and those work really well together. Now, one caution here, if you're eating this, be polite. Don't double dip, go back for a fresh second piece and you're gonna have to refill the bread and the dip. Trust me, if you take this to a party or put it out at your house. So if you need a last minute appetizer for someplace you're going or because guests are gonna drop by, three ingredients, bread, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, you'll have an appetizer that people will really love the look of 
and it's so simple, but so tasty.